Hello, and if you've been here before, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Glad to have you. In this video, I'm going to be doing a de-stash of my closet. I share it with my daughter, and yeah, she's getting big, so she's outgrowing a lot of clothes. So I'm just going to dig in and start going through all the clothes and finding anything that isn't fitting her anymore and putting that away and trying to narrow down what stuff she's going to be using because there are seasonal changes where they're going from winter to summer and just get rid of anything that she's not fitting into anymore but I'm going to pack it away just in case there's you know future use of those clothes. So as you can see I started with the hanging items in the closet and just went through them and I pretty much pulled out anything that was either six months or six to nine months. I was actually shocked to see how many six month items were still in there but pulled out anything that was six to nine months or nine months and she's fitting mostly in 12 month and 18 month stuff now and there's a few 24 month items that she kind of fits into but not perfect but since she'll be wearing those eventually I um, I left those in there as well. But yeah, just pulling out the stuff that she's outgrown and I left a few long sleeved items in there just in case there's like a cool night or a day to make sure that she has something to keep her warm. Although it's been really warm here lately, so not so much of an issue, but just in case. So I'm working first on everything that's hanging, pulling anything that she doesn't fit into anymore, and then I'll go to work on the drawers.
on to the drawers. Out of the top drawer, I'll take out any of the shirts or onesies that she doesn't fit into anymore. Um, that's what I keep in the top drawer is all onesies, t-shirts. The second drawer is shorts. Um, the very bottom drawer is pants, and there might be a pair of shorts or two in there, but getting rid of all the tops and onesies that don't fit her. So as I'm going through all the clothes, I'm looking at anything that doesn't fit her anymore and because I kind of have to unfold items in order to see that. Um, anything that does go back in the drawer, I'm using sort of a KonMari type of folding method where I fold it um, not completely in half and then fold it in half after that and so it, it all folds nicely and fits into the drawers a lot better than the system I had before, especially the bigger she gets, the smaller I have to fold stuff and so that folding method is really working a lot better for getting everything into the little drawers than just sort of laying things flat after folding them. Now that I have everything sorted and out of the closet and out of the little drawers and onto the bed, I am going to start stuffing it into my vacuum seal bag. So I have this one right here. It's a size medium. I think everything should fit into it, but we'll find out. In the meantime, I have my little girl here with me in her bed just hanging out. So you might hear her along the way, but now it's time to stuff the um, sealable bag so I can put everything in it.
So it turned out that the medium bag just wasn't going to handle it, so I had to get out a large bag, which kind of shocked me, but I had to get the large bag out and then transfer everything out of the medium bag into the large bag, and it fit in there really well, but I'm still kind of shocked that it was so much stuff that didn't fit into the medium bag. So after pushing out as much air as I could, I got out the little hand pump vacuum that comes with the set. And I've never used one of these before, but I got to say, once I really got it attached there and, and screwed onto the notch and got it working, it did a good job. It just took a little bit to actually get the pump to attach to the, the nozzle piece on the bag, but once I got it going, it really did pull all the air out of there. Okay, and now time for the second part of my organizing, which is my rosaries. So when I'm not doing YouTube videos or cleaning around the house or just reading any random thing, I like to make rosaries and I sell them on Etsy in my Etsy store. And I also have a shop on my Facebook page. I don't have as many rosaries listed there as I do on Etsy. So while I have all these rosaries, I haven't really had an effective way to store them. In fact, I can store them pretty much in this container, which while nice, they sometimes get tangled, and then that means I have to try and untangle them without having any of them get damaged, which I've been successful at, but it's still kind of complicated. So, my husband came up with this really great idea, and he got me this. Basically, it's a case that has several cases within it, and it's really designed for photographs, but ironically enough, the cases are the perfect size for rosaries. So, um, today's task will be, now that I've got the baby's clothes organized in the closet and everything stashed out of there that doesn't fit her anymore, I am going to organize my rosaries into these cases. That way, anytime one sells, I can just go directly to the case, find it easily, pull it out, package it up, and send it off. In the meantime, you also get to see some of the rosaries that I have made, because I have some, not to boast, but I have some really nice rosaries. I spend a good bit of time on them and usually plan them out, so I want to keep them safe and organized, so that's what this is going to be about. It's getting them organized and safely put away. So first things first, I'm going to open up this container, which, by the way, my husband actually saw them at a store and got a great deal on them, so <clears throat> it kind of worked out nice. It's, this case was actually his idea. So, first things first, I'm going to put into the rosaries that I have. And I actually make three different types of rosaries. The first type that I make is a chain link based rosary. So basically it's silver eye pins or gold depending on what I'm making at the time. And the beads and silver chain. So this is the chain link one. And they vary depending on, you know, what I'm doing with the rosaries as far as whether or not the, how intricate they are and how decorative they are versus how simple they are. Because some people like the simpler ones and some people like the really fancy. So I have the chain link ones and I have what I call the wire strung rosary, which is basically jewelry wire 
and then I design out the rosary and I string it onto the wire. And so usually the rosary is completely planned out before I even start because once it's strung onto the wire, it's really going to be difficult to undo what you did without you know, unstringing the entire rosary. Now this is an example of the wire strung rosary where it has the crimp beads here. It has the prayer beads here. It has little spacer beads. And then I decorate their fathers to make them stand out a little bit more. They're a bit different. And then the, it wraps up with the crucifix. Now because I sometimes do craft shows as well, I have these little white tags on the rosaries to show what the price is of each of them. And then the third kind that I do is wire wrapped, which this here is a nice example of a wire wrapped rosary. And so each bead is put on and then I literally wrap the wire around itself. And this is a very nice one that I made. I actually, I made all the the wire, the connectors. So basically, I flattened out the wire to connect it in each part in the Our Fathers. So this was a very involved rosary and it turned out beautiful. And these are known as sort of unbreakable rosaries because the wire wrapping makes it extra strong. So this is one example of those. And I have actually a few more that each time I make one of these, I love every rosary that I make, but some of them are just much more intense to me and I have some favorites sort of as a result of that. So each bead is hand wrapped with the wire there and then the Our Fathers I actually added a pearl there and did a full wrap around the entire bead and so it has this um this little uh, Divine Mercy Center with, with the whole you know, Jesus, I trust in you on it as the, uh, the center of the station. And these connectors I also put on here. And they have pearls and crystal beads to sort of accent and go with it. And then it finishes off with this crucifix. And this is, this is one that is really dear to me. I love this one. Um, I've been eyeing the beads for a while before I bought it to make it because I knew I wanted to make something special that someone who either is suffering from breast cancer or has a loved one who's suffering from breast cancer, it would, it would sort of keep to their mind what they were praying about. And it's just, it turned out really well and I know that someday it'll find a good home with someone who really loves it and can use it and, and will treasure it. Um, and then, now this, well this is still a wire, or a chain link to be, um, rosary. Um, this is another one, one of the newer ones that I made. This one is a bullet rosary. So it literally has the casings of 22 shorts and hematite stones. And I used um, a gold colored wire, sort of, and then a bronze crucifix and connector. And my husband actually shot all these bullets so I could make this rosary. I've, I've done a, a couple now and I'll be doing some more. But this is his favorite. He actually loves hunting, so that's part of what prompted him to ask me to make him one. So we got the bullets, drilled them, and I turned them into rosaries. So those are the three types of rosaries that I make. And so now it's time to get organizing. And as I go along, I'll stop and show you some of the ones that just I really love and that every once in a while I look back and I'm like, man, I, I really enjoyed making that rosary and it turned out really well. First one, got the little pink container out. And the rosary. I could probably fit two rosaries in each container, but I don't want a chance of them getting tangled, so I'm not going to do that. Because the entire purpose to me of having these cases is to keep the rosaries from getting tangled. This is a lovely but simple lavender one I did. It's on these silver eye pins and just has 
silver bead caps. Um, so feminine, but chic and simple. This one is a light pink one that I did, and it has uh, Lamport glass beads that have sort of flowers, roses it looks like, um, inside the glass design, and then little uh, bead spacers and smaller beads to wrap it up in. The Our Fathers on this are uh, the hand wire wrap, so it's a mixture of the wire wrapped and the chain link together on this rosary. This one turned out beautifully as well, and has a uh, very nice crucifix on it. And this one is one that I made with white potato pearls and I used the little spacers to accent the Our Father pearl beads to make them just a little bit different. It um, kind of makes me sort of think of an antique type feel to it. Uh, sort of almost a kind of like Victorian type style. This one is a First Communion one. It has the little First Communion chalice with the Eucharist on the top and then the coordinating crucifix that goes with it. It's in small white pearl style beads. This is one of the wire strum rosaries. So it's the wire with uh, silver beads in between the lavender beads and then the Our Father are accented with a slightly larger silver bead besides just the spacer bead. This is a lavender um, wire strung with frosted pink um, glass beads as the Our Fathers. And it's a small but cute crucifix that is on it. So it's not like a particularly large one, but it's a very beautiful smaller one. I'm going to keep this one in the bag, in the container, just because I like having it in the bag. But this is one that I did kind of recently, um, within the last few months. It's a wire wrapped one. This is where I tried a new design where it's the wire is wrapped around the Our Father and it has an accented bead. And the Our Father bead is a little bit different from the, uh, the Hail Mary or the Ave beads. So it's uh, turquoise in the middle and it's bronze on the outside and all the beads are wrapped in a bronze wire and it just turned out really beautifully. It has a matching bronze crucifix and um, brackets metal of Mary's station and then the connectors that coordinate with the other beads. But I really like this one. I want to have it ready for shipping so I'm going to stick it back into the bag that I have it in and then keep it in the container that way. Now this is a nice bead that I have, it's sort of a sapphire blue crystal with an iridescent finish. And then the um, Our Father beads have little um, bead spacers. The Our Father beads have little spacers with accent. I have a little baby over there who's not liking me doing this because she wants more food. So, that one will go in that container. 
So I have switched to voiceover at this point because of my baby playing so loudly. But as you can see, I'm still I'm going through the rosaries and putting them in the containers. And there's a few in here that I have that um. Well, actually, I think there's one rosary in here that a friend of mine actually made that she decided to get rid of rosary supplies and the rosaries that she was making. And so I bought them off of her, which will be one coming up that has white beads with um red painters on them and a nice red crucifix. And I also have, I think I just picked one up there. It was either a bracelet or a single decade rosary because I've, I've made about four single decade rosaries, which those are very nice pocket type rosaries. And this is the red and white one that I was talking about that has a nice metal and red crucifix on it. It's a very pretty, very nicely put together rosary. So I'm going to speed up the video now so that way it doesn't take as long. Now this one has these beautiful um, glass, it's a lampwork style bead with bead caps and accenting beads. It's on a wire strung type rosary. This one turned out really gorgeous, but not overpowering. It has lavender beads on it, and I really do love this one. It turned out fantastic. This is a green agate beaded rosary chain link and it has a St. Benedict crucifix at the bottom. This would actually be very good for male or a female. So now the beads are all filled. We'll put them back. Now on to container number two. Hmm. That one's one, I'm gonna have to, ah, uh, I see, earring cut off. I'm gonna have to fix this one, which these do come apart occasionally because they are um, chain linked. And before I send out any rosary, I always make sure to bag it up and shake it fiercely to make sure that it's going to stay intact during shipping. If it comes apart, I fix it then and make sure that any potential loose areas are tightened up. It's a nice wooden one intended primarily for a man, but it could be used by a woman. It has the St. John Vianney center on it. This nice crucifix that goes with it. Now this is a black First Communion themed rosary with the chalice and the Eucharist and then it has black beads and there's accents on the Our Fathers of the Haters with a um, black crystal bead that goes with a black pearl bead and it has a very nice coordinating crucifix to go with it.
So as you can see, the containers worked out really well. So containers originally meant for photographs are working very nicely to organize these rosaries and they all fit pretty perfectly and I don't see any issue with any of them getting tangled with themselves or another one. Um, and then they all fit perfectly back into the case, which is really nice, which makes it easier to transport. But I mean, these cases could honestly work for, you know, makeup or other jewelry items or, you know, various stationary products since, you know, they're initially advertised as being for photos, but, um, if you happen to be interested in any of the rosaries that you see here, I have them listed on my Etsy shop, which I will link down below. And I'm probably also going to put some of the earrings that I have into these containers. I just haven't figured out how I'll store them yet because one pair of earrings for one of these containers seems a bit like a waste of space, but at the same time I want to be able to keep the earrings together on the card. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. I Please like the video. I hope I gave you some ideas for organizing, whether it be a closet or jewelry or, you know, items like the rosary yourself. And please make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and I hope to see you in another video.